Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Barwin. First of all, happy Teacher's Day to everyone. Friends, today is a very special day and on this day, I wanted to share something special with you. See, this video is for all those aspirants who are preparing for high school teacher recruitment. Actually, the last time this recruitment was done is nearly before 10 years. I mean to say the exam was conducted in 2015. After that, there has been no recruitment. So that's why this exam is very, very important because thousands of aspirants have been waiting for years and now finally we are feeling that the chance is going to come up this year. So that is why I thought that on Teacher's Day itself, let us start our preparation with a clear plan. So in this video, I am going to share the mathematics blueprint which we have made for you by analyzing the 2015 HSTR question paper. So this will give you an idea of the pattern. It will give you an idea of the topics and what you should focus more on, right? So friends, we believe that this video is going to be a benchmark if you are an aspirant who is looking forward to write the teacher recruitment exam. Not only we are talking about HSTR, all other aspirants who are preparing for TET, GPSTR, CRIS and all other teacher recruitments, you should look up to this video because this way you can start your preparation. Because always blueprint gives you motivation and it also gives you the right direction to prepare for the exam you are looking forward to. Now what is the pattern of this exam? The exam will have two papers, paper 1 and paper 2. Paper 1 will be general knowledge educational psychology, general English and computer literacy along with the mental ability. It will be a two hours exam and maximum marks will be 100 marks. And the exam, the entire exam, even paper one and paper two, it will be a MCQs based exam. HSTR exam is not at all having descriptive questions. Okay. It is entirely based on objective type questions and no negative marking. Okay, many aspirants uh, were asking me, Madam, this is descriptive or MCQ. So, this is an objective MCQ type questions will be there in this exam. Okay, and negative marking will not be there in the exam. Now, coming back to our exam pattern. First paper to was paper 1, I told you about this. Next will be paper 2. Paper 2 will be a subject specified paper. If you are a PM method aspirant, you will have physics and mathematics. If you are a CB method aspirant, you will have chemistry and biology. Okay. So for this paper also, you will have 100 marks and maximum hours will be 2 hours. And this also will be a MCQ based or objective questions examination. Okay. Clear it. In this, no. 40 marks will be for physics. Okay. And 40 marks will be for maths. And 20 marks will be based on a methodology. Okay, this methodology will be based on a PM method only. Okay, clear, right? So, on this note, let us start uh, by having a glance at uh, what is the syllabus. See, this is a 2015 HSTR syllabus and uh, I believe that this syllabus will not change for 2024 also because there is no much scope for this syllabus to be changed okay so if they add something in this syllabus it will go to puc level uh, teacher recruitment exam if they reduce the syllabus it will go to gpstr level that means the primary level teacher exam so there is uh, no scope for uh, change in this syllabus in 2024 also 99 percent this will be the syllabus if at all they want to change it will be very very minute change only uh, I think around 5% of syllabus will change if at all they want to change. Okay. So more than that though, there is no scope at all. Okay. So this will be the syllabus for 2024 also. Okay. So what is there in the syllabus for mathematics? Number system, thirds, sets, progressions, commercial mathematics, statistics, permutation and combination, probability, basic concepts of algebra, polynomials, 
linear equations, exponents, quadratic equation, variation, basic geometrical ideas, triangles, quadrilaterals, polygons, circles, mensuration, trigonometry, coordinate geometry, symmetry and matrices. These 24 chapters are there in the syllabus for HSTR. Okay. Now I have been solving uh, this uh, 2015 question paper many times till now. So based on that research, I have made a blueprint. Okay. Now blueprint means from each chapter, how many questions will come? All questions are objective based. Okay. So if you know from which chapter, how many questions will come, it will be easy for you to prepare, right? Okay. So before starting the discussion on blueprint uh, let me tell you that if you are interested in joining hstr pm method paid classes then you can mail us at athar tet hstr courses at the rate gmail.com please note the spelling it is a t a h a r okay or you can write us a message in whatsapp our number is 9110558369 or we have a telegram channel and telegram group you will get the link in the description you can write to us there also okay you can join our telegram channel and you can interact with us in the telegram group so coming back for number system i have seen a three questions in 2015 paper okay then for suds one question for sets two questions for progressions two questions for commercial mathematics two questions from statistics two questions from permutation and combination one question okay then for probability one question was there from this chapter from basic concepts of algebra four questions were there actually see these basic concepts of algebra polynomials uh, these uh, come together only so it is uh, tough to differentiate exactly from which part they have asked the question it can be polynomial also okay anyway because i want to stress on this chapter of basic concepts of algebra because it's a very important chapter and uh, uh, very basic things are there to learn from this chapter so i have uh, put to those questions in basic concepts of algebra only okay next uh, polynomials uh, two questions basically together this uh, basic concepts of algebra polynomials linear equations and uh, exponents uh, and uh, of course quadratic equation so for polynomials two questions were there from linear equations one question of course from exponents question was not there but uh, it's an important chapter only anyway uh, quadratic equation two questions were there you don't specifically see for a simple chapter okay because that uh, single chapter is a part of algebra only right so entire algebra if you take into account uh, you are getting 10 marks for algebra okay then uh, variation no question was there from basic geometrical ideas also no question was asked but it's a important chapter because uh, all basic things of geometry you will learn in this chapter okay so what all comes in geometry triangles will come quadrilaterals will come later circles will come then mensuration will come okay all the construction part everything will come in geometry only uh, so that's why you can treat these chapters as geometry okay now seeing marks for triangles uh, they asked four questions from this see actually the fact that you can put triangle into polygons also specifically seeing the questions and uh, putting it in the chapter of triangles wherever triangle is there that way we are getting uh, four questions from triangles okay from quadrilaterals uh, one question from polygons one question see that's what i was telling what all will come in polygons see in polygons i can put triangles quadrilaterals in quadrilaterals also many types of quadrilaterals are there right that way i was telling you okay then uh, in circles two questions were asked from mensuration two questions were asked mensuration also will become a very important topic because in mensuration you will learn areas of circles okay not only areas you will learn uh, all the theorems uh, cyclic quadrilaterals uh, many more things you will learn in circles basically you will learn a part of mensuration of circles in the chapter of circles also 
in mensuration also okay like that only in mensuration you will also learn a part of triangles also like that only in mensuration you will also learn a part of quadrilaterals also okay so that's the reason why i was telling that it's a important chapter okay now coming back to trigonometry two questions okay so these uh, questions will be the common general expected questions only from trigonometry then coordinate geometry three questions were asked this is a uh, one of a very important chapter because uh, it is having very typical and important formula like distance formula is there section formula is there slope formula is there equation for straight line is there okay so these uh, topics make this chapter very important okay then uh, symmetry no question was asked it's a very easy chapter if you skip also no problem then uh, matrices uh, two questions were asked so these were the number of questions asked from each chapter now keeping all this discussion in our mind we can decide which are the group of chapters which are to be given more importance see this part no you give first preference because this is very easy part and the most important part okay all the geometry part because there is no much conceptual thing to be understood very simple simple things are there and we have been doing from our school days so that's why this will give you a sort of confidence and enjoyment uh, in doing mathematics so that's why i am giving you suggestion to start with uh, these bunch of chapters of geometry okay so let me write uh, one here go for these chapters first okay so how many marks you will cover in total whole of 10 marks you will cover means 10 questions you can answer correctly if you learn these chapters and practice problems from these chapters okay make the list of formula and uh, go for some uh, expected questions okay anyway if you are a paid class aspirant uh, in our course then to no problem at all because uh, we will be explaining everything in the class right we will be giving notes also and uh, it will be very much helpful okay then uh, after going for this group of chapters no next you go for uh, this group of chapters this is a uh, basic concepts of algebra polynomials and number system okay why i am giving you uh, this group of chapters means this is also very easy and uh, most important so take this as a second group of chapters this way you will cover nine marks so you can answer nine questions correctly if you are perfect with these chapters okay then go for uh, these chapters trigonometry coordinate geometry matrices and progressions okay these are also very interesting chapters and much of concept is not there just you have to blindly follow the formula and uh, if you practice nicely things will become very easy okay so if you cover these chapters group then you will be scoring how many marks nine marks again you can give nine questions answer correctly okay after this you go for uh, these chapters okay see linear equations quadratic equations to are like uh, logically based questions also may come from this part okay exponents to is very very easy we have been learning this from primary right so things should go very easily commercial mathematics also if you feel that it is tough uh, you can uh, skip uh, some part of the syllabus here and there depending upon uh, what is important and what is not important okay so here you will be scoring five marks i mean to say you can give correct answers for five questions if you be perfect with these chapters okay at last go for these chapters so the last which you are going to prepare for are thirds sets statistics permutation and combination variation symmetry and probability okay this is the plan which i have made for you all if you all like it please follow it and let me know your views on my plan Uh, just write down in the comment section please note that i will be making the next video only when i get minimum of 100 likes for this video so you should share this video as much as possible among your friends and other hstr pm method aspirants and also if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe okay 
थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट बाय